We're pretty good at generating leads. We're very good at that. Looking at data, managing data, pulling data, generating leads, really systemize it. Not perfect. I'm not saying I'm the best in the world at it, but that is my goal is to be the best in the world at it. I'm going to share my screen and just break down what audio looks like and how I designed it and all that. Down. We already got some leads, so that's good. We already have eight. I'm going to send these up to acquisitions. When you first land on the page, you'll be here. So here's some of the team members that we have, and you'll be able to see this app. But we still need to do like our fix and flippers, buy and hold, our investors, our realtors, JV, these other apps that will be added here. We want our acquisitions and disco app and all the other apps in there too. They're coming. So what we're going to do is once you're in here, there's a list view of all the leads. You'll click on it. You'll see the person's name and you'll see their phone number and their address. This is Jeffrey. That's his phone number that we reached them on. That's the address. Here's the map where it is. This is the property. And here's the aerial view. So you get a map view, street view, and aerial view. I've added those because we're all visual creatures. We want to see what we're looking at. Our lead sources. So right now we're starting with cold calling, but we'll get SMS. High value lead means that it came from like the list stack. The other one that I'll be adding is SEAL team. So our SEAL team does the high value leads that come. This is more for acquisitions than anything. And then also referrals, driving for dollars. So if you do drive around for dollars and you like find the list where you're like, yeah, that house looks pretty beat up send that in one of the apps will be a way for you to put in the address and send it in and then our data team can go and push that through over to the seal team then social media we're going to be doing retargeting and as well as direct mail so the next thing is temperature as acquisitions talk to them as the lead goes from like a cold or frozen lead to neutral warm and hot hot means their motivation and urgency those are the two key things that we need to make a deal this is for them to determine where their leads are who they need to put their focus on what kind of deal are we looking at is it wholesale sub to owner finance is it innovation is it a morby method well what is it it's uh, all the leads will be new untouched when they first arrive and then as the team works it they'll take it down the trough to where they need to go the callback times if the caller gets that like if they're able to ask that then they're able to highlight those and work those and then this is our button to push the lead to acquisitions so that's all the lead details section right here so these are shortcut buttons that'll push you around i'll show you how that goes but here's all the lead details the address and what kind of deal it is here's our cold call so desiree generated the lead we can see that here that's this cold caller that called and there's her name again there the original file is a tired landlord so this person does have multiple properties so this is just one but then lead managers and acquisitions should be able to see that and know that hey if i can get a deal here i can get more going there motivation is his son wants to sell condition is a seven out of ten made it simple so see motivation time frame condition asking price so he's interested in selling but not ready right now as he needs to wait for his son before making a decision so the son wants to sell but he needs to talk to the son that's the opportunity now we got to go figure out okay somebody is pushing somebody who is it is it the son that wants to sell or the dad and who's going to be the decision maker and who's going to be the one that's going to block it that's where the salesmanship comes in right but now we have access to a lead here that even a realtor probably doesn't have access to yet time frame is probably next month after he talks to his son currently lives in the property it's a seven out of ten it needs new roof and new carpet you'd have to check that out and see he wants 180 for it but if it needs a new roof and new carpet and probably needs more than that realistically and 180 how much is this thing worth prop stream says 230 batch said 240 zillow said 207 and realtor open door is willing to offer 176 for it not bad i mean literally if we could get this down 20 grand we could just sell it to open door probably and make 16 yeah. but that's probably not our best bet it's probably better to figure something else out and then do something else with it so that's acquisitions we gotta figure out what they're gonna do with it speaking of acquisitions here's their section this is the lead manager notes so when they call back they're gonna come in here and they're going to leave their notes here. That's where you'll find it. They have their own app, their own workspace that you won't have access to. It's their own, like Olu runs it. This workspace and that workspace are synchronized. So every time they come in and leave notes for there, you'll see it here. And I'll see it here. We all see it here. So first of all, this is just information for them. So now we're at the part of the section. You notice how everybody kind of has their own section? So this was the call center. So this is the cold call note section. There's all the cold callers notes, but then you have QA, Ernestine did it. And then here's independent notes of the caller. So you have your cold caller and then you have quality assurance, right? They're basically checking everything. 
and doing that. And then there was like where I was able to see because they did research on it briefly. They just very quickly went and looked and it was like they figured those numbers out. As we go down, that was the lead manager section. From there, we go to actual closer. They leave their notes here. Property details. I'm going to change these all to areas there. It's Temple, Lee, Waco, and surrounding little sub markets. Give me a list of areas to hit and areas of interest. I can fix that up. If we want to look at like the areas between here, we can maybe do a little cross pollination and then just share. I'm not greedy. I'd be willing to take less and share the wealth and be like, hey, maybe everybody chips in a little bit. We'll pull a list and we'll share it. There'll be some overlap on that or something. But we have plenty of data and stuff to keep us busy for quite some time for just Temple, Galeen, and Waco. And the reason there's a million buttons here is so it makes it easier to filter. I'll show you that in a second. It's a single family, but if we were looking for, well, hey, how many duplexes do we have? How many triplexes do we have? How many multifamily do we have? Where's our vacant land? When we click these, it makes it easy to filter and find, okay, well, we have 328 leads. Where's all my vacant land? Oh, here's 11 vacant land leads that we got. Is it owner-occupied? Is it vacant? What is it here? He said it was owner-occupied based on the thing. How quickly is he looking to sell? He said 30 days. But this is all acquisitions. They'll be clicking these and doing that. Three bedroom, two bath. What renovations has been done or needs to be done? The renovations related, roof, all that. So they, the hardest part is getting everybody to adopt. So it's nice and organized and standardized. I'm working on it. And then I'll share that as we go along. Tweaks and changes that I'll be looking to make organizationally. This is all the property details up. But then from there, we go to our comparables. If we need comps, they click that. If they do another writing, they click that. And then if it's like we've already done that and we need to like say, hey, is this a deal? Can we check numbers and whatnot? Then we'll send it for deal review. And here's some basic info. Rents for about 650 according to Zillow. Like I said, batch and everybody, this is kind of their numbers. What are comps of what the property? Properties are worth here, get our average ARV. Later on, we'll be creating drip campaigns. I'm working on seeing how we can incorporate chat GPT into the system. Our offer section. So once we get to that point, what's our ARV? What's our MAO? What phase are we at? Let's say we need to set an appointment. Like bring the contract in person. So you know, or some boots on the ground go there. What date is it? When is it? Who set the appointment? Who's going to go to it? Once you get pictures, can we drop the pictures here? And then a video, upload that. If we got the lead from a realtor or we're getting a realtor involved save all their info here communication log this would be if we wanted to send tech back and forth from audio direct and it's not enabled on this one the acquisition side that does that and then the car recording section is just basically going to be where you can find the actual call so if you wanted to listen to desiree and jeffrey talk also for acquisitions they can ask their questions and they can get a feel acquisitions can listen to the original call to get a better idea of what happened if they're like they didn't say anything about his son he's saying he's not looking to sell now and whatever let me hear this call and then they listen like oh yeah he did definitely say he's looking to sell i don't know what's going on here but yeah that's that part so now this is a very long form as you can see there's a ton of stuff here so that's why i created these so when you click on these buttons it'll shoot you to the different parts of the page that you want to go to or that particular section so you're like hey are we doing anything with the offer you go to offer details the lead manager call yet no uh, they haven't called yet okay and there's no notes in there what's the address for this place again okay there it is cool take some time it'll take you a few months to really get because there's a lot of fields but that's how that went. I've been working on that as a custom flow that I've created over two and a half years. And we're constantly refining it. Once these get filled out, it doesn't necessarily change or anything because specifically this section, there's really no completion until it gets sent up for deal review and a contract goes out and gets signed. Then I guess you could mark it as complete. These are live and working. Most of these are going to take about 10, 15, 20 follow-up calls to make a deal. We even have like the personality types, like what kind of personality are you dealing with? So if somebody else jumps in they're like oh this is a red seller or okay i got this blue or they're a talker or very analytical or... so all those buttons the reason we have all those buttons you can see like here's the leads there's the phone number there's their addresses you can see all that but there's this little icon here and you can actually filter it by any one of those fields that were inside that page right now it's all blank right but if we want to see how many people will be called two times or more we click that button and then as this number grows it would filter it out and tell you or you know 18 people that you've called twice exactly twice or more you would click every one of those and you're like okay that's how i got to two or more or for example i want to see all of just my hot lead or i just 
just want to see all the lead from Paul or just the high value leads. Anything, everything that's in there, you can filter by if it's a button or an input. Now, if it's a text field, search. So if you're like, hey, I remember there was a lead, he had a golden retriever. I remember reading that in the notes or hearing that on the call. Golden retriever. So you, if you click that and you would type in, it would actually pull out the card and then you click it, take you inside that lead. Oh yeah, that's Jimmy. I remember now Jimmy. Yeah, he has a golden retriever. He was talking about this and that, blah, blah, blah. One quick question, Shad. Before people against to be on this list, these eight, what was the process before that? Yeah, great question. So first thing we have to do is go pull the records, the raw records. So all I know is their first name. Well, technically, we don't even know that. All we know is the list that they came from. Foreclosure, divorce, bankruptcy, tired landlord, elderly people. We call it empty nesters. So this is somebody that has a three or four bedroom house but they've owned it for 20 plus years. So even if they had kids in their 20s, they're in their probably late 40s now, 50s, probably 60s. So we call those empty nesters. We define the list and then we pull those lists. We start pulling lists because you never know what you're going to find until you make calls. Nobody ever knows until your calls get made. Then the calls start happening and then the things start coming to surface to the light little by little. So prop stream batch, prop wire, county records, our developers are going to be building bots. To go and spread county data, right? Okay. Any data is good. All we need is people to talk to. We really need yeah. to talk to the people. TTP, Brett Daniels. <laughs> you know, customer. We talk to the people and then the stories start coming up. Dig deeper on the stories. So the list gets pulled, then we skip trace it. Once we skip trace it, we verify the records. So verification basically means if we were to look at like caller ID, if you were to call me from that number, what would caller ID say? So once we verify the numbers, that wipes out about a third of our data. So we're not waiting wasting time calling wrong numbers all day. Now we're left with the person we're looking for or their family members.